Are you doing one more time? How do you do that? <laughs> it's not too biting to hear that. I did it strong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, My name is Fulmanga. Yeah. I'm from Bhutan. Uh, in Bhutan, they categorize as a uh, um, category one, category two, like a different, mm -hmm. uh, different like a different caste. When we are in Nepal, uh, category one is good for living in the Bhutan, and two, three, four, five, they have to leave Bhutan, and we uh, leave Bhutan, and we stay in Nepal as uh, Nepal uh, to 20 years as a refugee. You know, and so the more we help people understand, the more we can improve the situation. What's that? He loves you. <laughs> he does? Yeah. <laughs> So Community Cloth is a micro-enterprise initiative to empower refugee artisans that live right here in Houston. Houston is one of the big, busiest resettlement cities in the United States for refugees. So we work with women from Burma, Bhutan, Iraq, Sudan, Afghanistan, and the Congo. It really began by us working with the refugee artisans and then them coming to us and saying they wanted an opportunity to take their products to market and they did not want a handout or anything from us. Uh, community club um, helped me for money, money helped me for many things, to buy many things. So did you make tablecloth? Yeah. But you know how to make that type of clothes. But yours should be thin. We involved with our many friends. We know everybody, and we got a financial support. We made some of the hairs, and we sold, and we get a money. It it help us to buy uh, something for my home needs. At Community Clock, we really believe if you invest in the women, you can help change the trajectory of the entire family. Mm -hmm. Earning that supplemental income and being able to support your family, that's a really big deal. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the women that we work with have never earned income before right. or have earned something like a dollar a day. That gives them that confidence. They're making new friends. They're reaching out to different parts of Houston they haven't seen before. So cute. When Nepal, I cannot uh, talk English, and uh, when I can join the community club, I can talk English more. Um, other people, I can talk. Maybe Roxanne, Nikki. They talk English. I, I, I can also talk English. I think one of my favorite things about the program is that we're focusing on the strengths of the women, what they can already do. So we have women that knit, crochet, sew, make jewelry, and weave. So this is a skill set that they already have. Uh, this is monkey. Yes, only three I can make. About my children? I want to give them a good life. Uh, they, I want to uh, make, make them a, a big people, reading more. But I don't know how can I do. I don't know how, uh, how to say. <laughs> <laughs>